we've got a huge job to do, and that is to say to the Thatcher's children, if you want, the ones who were taught, don't be in trade unions, trade unions are bad. We're saying, I, I, absolutely not. In fact, if Thatcher's children had actually been organised in trade unions, perhaps uh, during the, um, uh, during the um, years of new labour, let alone now, with this uh, LibCon um, government, this coalition, uh, they'd be able to at least attend to themselves and their families in a stronger way. The collective, and that's what uh, 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 Robert Owen is about, and that's what all this place is about. Out this world, I've never in my life thought to go to my union. Yeah. But as I say, it was money matters in Hamilton that had said to me, no, have you tried your union? I said, how can the union help? Yeah. And they could say, yeah, that they could help. And it was Lila Stephen in Hamilton that I was working with. And she just, she done absolutely everything for me. She was out of this world. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So I've got every place in the world for unison. Just think they're fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So no, I think it's something to it. It's people standing together and saying that we're all equal. Now, unfortunately, uh, the Prime Minister says we're all equal in the cuts. He said we're all in this together. But, of course, there are 17, million millionaire, 17 millionaires in the Cabinet. And when they have a cut, it doesn't mean anything. When our people have a cut, as they're going to get cuts in pay, they're going to get cuts in their pension, public service workers' jobs are going to go uh, left, right and centre, the services will be reduced, working people are going to suffer very, very badly. There's going to be huge uh, loss of services that knit together uh, communities. Um, uh, Robert Owen here at New Lanark tried to establish uh, a nice community for people. Uh, communities in Scotland depend on public services and they're going to get slaughtered. Uh, the sad thing is that there's absolutely no need uh, to do this. Uh, it's an attack on public services. It's nothing to do with budget cuts, uh, any civilised society would continue to invest in public services, so the current government is outrageous and we need to do everything we can uh, politically and industrially to stop the worst excesses of what they're planning to do. So I say, uh, A, we've got to get out and organise, us unison in the public sector, but we should encourage all trade unions to get out there in the private sector, get as many people into unions as possible. There is a, a strength in uh, the union, that's, that's why we've got it in the first place. The biggest voluntary organisations in the country are trade unions. Uh, and people ought to understand, it's not just about insurance, it's about something that they can give to. Trade unions are, aren't just sitting there and saying, well, the union's doing it, I don't have to do anything. It is about participation. If you're going to lose your hospitals, if you're going to find privatised water here in Scotland after a battle for so long to keep it in the public sector, if you're going to find uh, attacks, uh, I mean, less police uh, in Scotland, you're going to find uh, everywhere you turn, the public services on which working people depend, the welfare state, has been turned back. So this, I think, is a very happy day. Why? It's a carnival day, a fun day, but behind it is something much more serious, and that is get into the trade union, stand up, because people will say in a hundred years' time, why didn't the trade unionists in the years 2010, 2015 stand up unless we do something? We've got to say, uh-uh, the welfare state is ours. I think it's horrendous. Uh, it seems to be that all political parties have decided that uh, local government and health, etc., are going to be fair game for cuts in 25 per cent. It seems to be there's going to be a blanket coverage through all of the organisations, uh, and uh, the true unfairness of the whole thing is that this is developed because of the banking industry, because of the, the failings that they had. And unfortunately, they're not uh, targeting the banks, but they're targeting the other people. And uh, where the, the, the hit is going to come is, is going to be predominantly women, predominantly low-paid workers. Uh, these are the people who are going to be targeted and they're going to have to carry the brunt for the inefficiencies of the whole bank and organisations. If that had been done in 1945 to 51, when we had that first Labour government after the war, when we owned, owed billions to the United States and elsewhere. If we'd have said, God, we've got to get rid of this big uh, uh, deficit, that's the first thing that counts. There would not be a National Health Service. 
started in 1948, there wouldn't be insurance, there wouldn't be all the things that developed at that time. You need courage and you need certainty and uh, we've got to win that ourselves.